Hello everyone and welcome back to Cooking with Laura Lee. Here we are again with another wonderful collaboration. This time we'll be visiting Greece and I will be making a well-known comfort dish called Tefaro. It is extremely easy but has tons of flavor. It is surprising how wonderful it was with minimal ingredients and method. It is also interesting because I'm not a huge tomato based stew person but this one was different. Cooking with some sugar and a lot of garlic helped with the acidity. Whatever you do with this dish, do not rush this dish. Let it cook for two or three hours if you need to. It will be so worth it for all the tender and juicy flavor that you will get from letting it slow cook. I tried to stay true to the traditional ingredients, um, but this is my version. And I also didn't have red wine vinegar, so I mixed apple cider vinegar with balsamic vinegar. This is the monthly collaboration, so you all know what to do. All the links to the channels are in the description. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for all your support. Lastly, my apologies. I was having technical difficulties. So sorry if this sounds kind of muffled. One to two teaspoons because it's two pounds. Half a tablespoon. You don't have to do this if you want to keep it traditional, but that's how I season my food. Set aside. I have my shallots. I didn't want to buy too much because it can get very expensive. So I'm going to cook with this and then add these at the very last minute. Or maybe like the last 20 to 15 minutes. And these I'll add like maybe 30 to an hour before it's done. Keep this together, but cut this end. This is probably the longest part of the cooking. I'm going to go ahead and separate these two. I don't know, I have about two big cups of shallots. Maybe like one fourth cup. I'm just gonna use this for the onion and also the meat. Could just smell the olive oil. Brown this for four or five minutes and it smells absolutely amazing already. all the way through and then we'll do the second batch. I want that nice and crispy brown. Some people don't do that but I really appreciate when the meat is browned. I don't like that great texture look. Okay you guys see me cooking a lot with this. These can be kind of pricey but look at these huge garlics and this is one garlic. But um, I usually love a lot of garlic, so I will be using this whole thing for that, maybe, maybe half. But I am going to have the whole bulb. The whole bulb will give me about this much of garlic, so I usually like to use this particularly because it just gives so much. Oh, okay. one fourth of a cup, maybe almost a half a cup. So usually I have red wine with vinegar, but I don't, so I'm going to add some of this. Maybe one tablespoon of that, and one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Let that simmer.
I'm going to go ahead and leave this in the oven at 350 for about an hour and an hour and a half since I did cook through the meat pretty good, if not at the end of two hours. But you'll know when it's done when the meat is fork tender. minutes or so and uncovered another 20 minutes covered and then maybe another 10 minutes uncovered I'm actually gonna raise it up to 400 for the last 30 minutes or so Delicious. Whoa, that's really good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Delicious.